As we work through the biotoxin pathway, we find that there are many things that get disrupted and dysregulated by the presence of the cumulative burden of poisons in our cells and in our fluids. Our little lady with psoriasis and alopecia taught us that these chemical compounds act as inflammogens and they stimulate and activate the immune system. In the activated state, the immune system has to coordinate the activities of multiple armies of cells that it's sending out on different missions to help restore normality and kill whatever the infectious agent is or to clean up whatever the injury was, etc. Among the compounds that regulate the activity of the cells are compounds known as cytokines. Histamine, leukotriene, interleukin, tumor necrosis factor, interferon. All of these things are cytokines, and there are many, many of them. Well, it turns out that one of the cytokines that we have been able to make great use of in working with patients who are chemically challenged and chemically injured is one called the Human Transforming Growth Factor Beta-1. It's abbreviated TGF-beta-1. TGF-beta-1 is produced by every cell in the body, but there is one particular white cell called the macrophage which is a scavenger cell. It kind of reminds me of Pac-Man. You know, it goes around gobbling up everything that shouldn't be there. That particular cell is particularly sensitive to the presence of low molecular weight poisons, particularly carbon structures that are organic toxins. And when they are present in its microenvironment, they undergo a conversion and they become a factory producing TGF beta-1. We have no idea why they're doing that, but that's what they do. They do it in tissue culture, in the experiments in the lab, and they do it in our bodies. And when people are exposed and have a cumulative burden of these poisons circulating in their fluids, TGF beta-1 goes out the roof. It's normally between 343 and 2,382 picograms per milliliter with an average of 1,300 picograms per milliliter in the general population. And I did a retrospective audit of two years data in my toxicology clinic on my patients that we had been evaluating for chemical toxicity and injury. As a group, their mean score was 18,000, not 1,300. And what we found was that this compound remains elevated as long as there are poisons present in the system. And as we start to use the molecular sponges, charcoal, clay, cholestyramine, and we begin to lower the circulating level, TGF beta-1 recedes. If people get re-exposed, it goes back up. If they are dumping toxins from their cells, for example, if we give them detox herbal preps or glutathione and their cells start dumping the toxins, the toxins can rise in the circulating fluid and the TGF beta-1 will go out the roof again. So again, 1,440 values over two years, the mean score was 18,000, and our patients show decreases in that number over time as we remove the poisons from their systems.